I'm very perplexed on how to do this review when Musen hit me up and showed me this product and was asking if I wanted to take a look at it. And I said, sure. I started doing research and then I came down to two reasons why it's really hard to do a review on a product like this. One is the actual practicality of how somebody would and where somebody would use a device like this and why. And then on top of that, doing research on this product to see what other people were saying about it, as well as reviews like on websites and stuff like that. And on top of that, what other content creators who reviewed this product in the past thought about it in their use case scenario and all that stuff. And unfortunately, when I was doing that research, all the reviews that at least that I saw, they all just talked about the different features and the buttons and the little switches and the knobs and like everything that you can find out in the manual or you can download. I'll leave the PDF down in the description so you can download and take a look at it and see what all the buttons and stuff can do. Because I don't feel like being another cog in the machine, just going over what every single button and switch can do. Because if you can find 11 other people doing the same thing, then where are you going to actually find a actual review? You, you see what I'm saying? Because those are more tutorials and I'm not getting paid for the video and I am just doing my thoughts and opinions on it. And my thoughts and opinions on it goes back to so days later squid here. I've been using this thing for about a week now and I know it's a weird cut, but I wanted to go ahead and interject myself here because the rest of the video kind of just pushes people away from the product. And that's not my stance on doing reviews unless the product is just obviously bad and it's like a buyer beware kind of thing. And I want to expose that type of thing, but that's not the the course here with the Musin product and or any of their products, I would say, if this isn't vindicative to any of the other ones they are selling or whatever, it's more of this product is a premium product. And I think it's for people who collect like little knickknacks and like different cool little things or wherever who don't really care about the price being a little bit expensive and who are looking for like little premium desk gadgets and like displaying stuff on a shelf and stuff like Funko Pops and all this other stuff. And it's like, Though for those people, this device is going to be pretty cool, especially if they like having a fidget toy and stuff like that. If you already have a fidget spinner, I don't know if those things are still, I would say, popular nowadays. But, you know, if you have that type of thing or wherever and that's your hobby and that's what you do, then this is going to fit, I think, right along with those things. And another thing is, is that what I'm going to have is visual aids playing through this part, talking about... I would say the different features and what you can do because I realized even though I said in the beginning portion that I'll have the PDF down in the description and you could watch other videos on this product there always it seems to be those people who watch my videos expecting me to do the same thing that other people have already done and I have already said that other people have already done that and on top of that I always give those videos that I'm talking about the links in the description but it's like they want me to do it and it's like, why do I need to copy other people? So tangent aside, I decided to go ahead and do that um, just to kind of give you guys at least that little bit of service, even though it's not like a walkthrough. I'm doing the button pressing and stuff like that. It's just a more condensed version. Another thing is the unboxing experience felt premium. There was nothing here that was lacking in my personal opinion. I was actually pleasantly surprised of how heavy the box it was that it came in. And then when I got the device, I was like, oh, man, this is a this is surprisingly pretty, I would say hefty of a product as far as like what it's made out of and the weight and everything. But I would also say that the only thing that was the downside was the USB type C cable. It was pretty one of those average ones that you get like the plastic ones. And I think for this price and how well built and thought out and the engineering behind this device and everything and what else comes in the box, as far as like the unboxing experience, the box itself, the little tote bag, I would expect the little usb type c cable to be braided or something like that that's just a nitpick that's not necessarily something that's going to be like oh i can't use the product now or i'm going to return it just because it's like it isn't one of those other usb type c cables you have probably already have a whole bunch of them anyway so i don't mind them skimping out on i would say the quality of it if everything else is up to par like it is so it's not really a i would say negative to me but it might be to somebody else out there another thing is is that like i would have said in my older video it's just like who is this product for and i kind of went into this tangent and this rant of and i think it's still applicable to here it's just 
I was on the 2011 the United States Soldier Show when I was in the military. That's a poster of me doing a backbend back there. And pretty much what it was, it was like a 90, uh, 90 minute, nine month tour of singing and dancing. I went through Japan, I went through Korea, I went through Germany, Europe, I went through the United States. And trust me, this is gonna make sense or wherever, so just stay with me. Um, we, we were performed on stage, tore down our own stage. We were the stage hand and the cast and crew. And like, we, we did everything from backstage stuff to, you know, getting everybody's dresses, you know, and stuff set up and everything like that. As far as like what we were wearing, our costumes and stuff like that. Like I said, putting up the lights, putting up the stage, the struts, like doing all that stuff, tearing it down and moving to the next location and stuff. And even in between there, we would have private shows, whether it be on, um, on post or on a base, or it would be in like in public or wherever in civilian places and stuff like that and certain places people would have problems with us playing music or dancing or singing or wherever and it's like we were allowed to be there because we coordinated with event staff or you know people and stuff like that and people would still have a problem with us doing it we would have security walk up you know police being involved stuff like that and it's like even though we had permission and we went through this whole thing obviously there was people who were higher ranking who was you know a part of the actual soldier show stuff or wherever they would talk to those kind of people and the security and all that stuff and we would get a pass because they just didn't know that we were coming or something like that somebody didn't tell somebody during the pipeline and stuff but you can see like and yes that stuff is a little bit more loud and more showy but you can see just based off of that people would have a problem and then i've done festivals in my own community working with the city and the county and like potentially like the state level of stuff or wherever just going to i would say dance battles or doing street performances and stuff there and like i said festivals and everything and working with event staff and coordinators and stuff we would still every now and then me and my dance crew would have you know cops come by security come by be like yo you're not supposed to be here and it's like it got to the point to where we had to have somewhat the event coordinator the person that's running it to you know give us their number or a way to communicate and contact them if we had you know those type of people show up and nine times out of ten when we said the person's name the security or the you know the the police or whoever it was it was like oh okay now nah, yeah you're good or whatever if you know her you know what i'm saying or you know them you're good you're good and it's like if we're doing that or wherever in a public sp space like and it's like a, obviously a louder, I would say speaker system and all that stuff. But it's like, that shows you like having music being played, even from this small speaker, even if you have it on low, you're gonna probably run into that stuff when you're walking around using the fidget spinner or whatever, and you're just chilling and stuff like that. That stuff has gotten worse as far as people kicking you out of establishments or wherever, refusing service, getting security involved, all that stuff, because they're telling you like, hey, you can't play music here. You can't do this. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that in, in malls and, and parks and, you know, just anywhere in general. So it's like realistically, other than your home, where are you going to use this thing? That's what it kind of boils down to. And that's why I led with that example. I think it's really applicable to this type of thing because it's still technically a portable bluetooth speaker and even though this is one of their indoor versions like i said multiple times throughout the video indoors in your own privately owned residence or rented residence whatever you're probably going to use a sound bar headphones earbuds some kind of speaker system like i said bookshelf speakers studio monitors whatever it is that's going to give you a bigger sound signature and a, a more better a better one because of the footprint just because you're chilling at home you know what i'm saying listening through your tv sound bar whatever it may be and then when it talk when you're talking about you know being portable and taking this outside having the little strap hooking it onto your book bag or your belt or something like that or just holding it and fidgeting with it when you start talking about going outside like i said in, in those more professional settings me doing that stuff and being there for a professional reason as far as entertainment services it's like you can't even use that in that scenario. So something smaller, even though it fits in the palm of your hand and stuff like that, where are you going to play the, the speaker at? Because nowadays, again, the times that we live in, you go outside and you start playing music like this and you're walking around and you think just because you're in a public space that you can do something like this. And it's like, nope, this is private property or you can't do that to get security involved. Multiple people are telling you to turn it off, get off the premises, cops being called and stuff like that. Like there's people who call the cops on the most ridiculous things, you know what I'm saying? And you, it's like, why go through all the hassle of all that? You know what I'm saying? So realistically, you're gonna probably be stuck to using something like this or just a portable Bluetooth speaker, just period, in your own home 
or in a location that you know you're allowed to be there and and even if that was the case would you use something this small or something bigger you, you, you know what i'm saying if you are allowed to be there and you have the chance of having a portable bluetooth speaker the convenience is that it's small you know it's well built the you can have it in your palm of your hand you can fidget around with it and stuff but like i said application wise realistic application wise when <laughs> just when are you going to use this and like i said it's not a knock to using it. it's not a knock to the product itself i think it needs to exist for those who are looking for novelty products like this but it's like if i find myself in those use case scenarios i'm probably going to take my 115 120 dollars little portable speaker that i picked up from walmart that has 50 hours of battery life that has wheels that I can roll it around and it's going to give me a bigger and better sound stage and profile and just overall better experience just to even if i'm not dancing just to chill relax and listen to music especially if i have the opportunity to be there like again i just i don't know who this is realistically for and ultimately what it boils down to is that this device is for those i think who are going to have it displaying on their desk on a shelf or something like that like i said a novelty like you know random collector of bips and bobs and stuff like that and it's going to be good for the price point it's a premium experience the unboxing experience like i mentioned earlier just everything about it is really good it's just that this device gets my seal of approval which is like the fourth or fifth device i've done in three years that i've, done, I've given a seal of approval of and it's a really good device it's just if i'm gonna give it my recommendation it's only gonna be to those subset of people those people who are niched into that i would say category of picking up products like this then yeah full on recommendation go pick it up now if you want to give this as a gift for christmas or something that's coming up or somebody's birthday or holiday or something like that i think this would be really good for those types of people for teenagers and probably a little bit younger because then they have the little fidget thing they can play with it and stuff like that you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a cool little thing they can put to their backpack you know what i'm saying go out whatever they just have to be careful of being out in public with the volume level and just be ready to be known that they might you know get in trouble because they're playing music from this thing i feel the wider application of it as far as it being a bluetooth speaker I think they're just better options out there in my personal opinion that are going to be better suited for the average person and when you have a subsection of a customer base that could use this and that subsection of customer base is going to be pretty small it's hard to sit there and say yeah get it because i guarantee you somebody's watching this video they're like oh, why would i get this you know you know what i'm saying like they would be like why why would i get this you, you see what I'm saying? I already know there's somebody out there that's like that because they would be like, I can get a bookshelf speaker. I can get studio monitors. I can get headphones, you know, all the other stuff that I referenced before in the video. And that's kind of the problem when you have these novelty kind of type of devices. It's like, how can you just do a product showcase or a tutorial and not tell people that? For the sound test, I will go ahead and have different genres play through spotify connecting straight into the actual device itself because this does not have an aux port i'm not going to have any eqs or anything on the microphone i will show how far the microphone is from the speaker and just know that when people do testing like this for speakers and other things there's no way to accurately tell if the stuff is good or whatever versus in person because you're having to edit it and then upload it and all that stuff you're obviously gonna it's just it's weird to me how people expect sound tests for this type of stuff because it's just like common sense you have to be there in person to really know the sound signature and how stuff is i don't think this is an accurate representation but i'm gonna do it anyways but like i said in person the speaker sounds i would say relatively awesome for the size of it is as well as the price and on top of that the footprint so yeah that's just my personal opinion on the sound quality
So with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. Musing, wonderful product here. And I hope that all your other products are on the same level because this is fantastic for those kind of people who are looking for this type of thing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.